James Pierpont Comer, born 1934, still alive today as of August 29th, 2021. African-American psychiatrist. James Pierpont Comer is a psychiatrist who founded the Comer School Development Program, CSDP, a visionary approach to improving troubled schools. The program is based on Comer's belief in the importance of providing children with experiences that promote their social, emotional, cognitive, and moral development. He believes that the development of these qualities is more important than genetics in determining a child's performance in school and in life. Comer established, Comer established his first CSDP schools in New Haven, Connecticut in 1968. The program's success there and around the country prompted the Rockefeller Foundation to spend $15 million over five years to support Comer's efforts. By 1998, about 600 schools in the United States had adopted CSDP. The tenets of CSDP reflect Comer's own upbringing by parents who emphasized education and instilled in him the drive to succeed despite obstacles. Comer was born in East Chicago, Indiana on September 25th, 1934, into a working-class family. His father, Hugh Comer, was a steel worker and a janitor. His mother, Maggie, was a domestic worker who had little former schooling. His parents gave him the middle name Pierpont to help him remember the achievements of the financier J. Pierpont Morgan. The second oldest of five children, Comer and his siblings made frequent trips to the library museums and any other place that their parents thought might stimulate their intellect and build their self-esteem. Comer was a top student at East Chicago's Washington High School, sang in the chorus, and served as student body president in his senior year. However, he faced a traumatic personal challenge when he left the nurturing atmosphere of his family to attend Indiana University. Quote, All of a sudden, I was a black, poor kid. Unquote. He explained to the Washington Post, Quote, I had to deal with racial antagonisms. My confidence was shot. I was petrified. Unquote. He earned a bachelor's degree from Indiana Univers University in 1956. Because of his, his experience there, he decided to transfer to a predominantly black university. He chose Howard University in Washington, D.C., where he received his medical degree in 1960. In 1964, he received a master's degree in public health from the University of Michigan. Between 1964 to 1967, Comer trained in psychiatry at the Yale University School of Medicine and his Child Study Center. In addition, he received a year of residency training at the Hillcrest Children's Center in Washington, D.C. Comer complemented his ongoing training in medicine with service in the U.S. Public Health Service from 1961 to 1968, during which time he attained the rank of lieutenant colonel. Comer returned to Yale in 1968. That year, he established a school development program forming a collaboration between two public elementary schools in New Haven. The philosophy of the program was and is that even failing inner city schools can achieve on a high level if society sustains them with an interlocking network of services. This strategy of services integration requires medical clinics, mental health centers, libraries, and child care centers to work together for the benefit of children. The crucial element of the model, however, is ensuring that parents understand how important they are in their children's lives. Of children, Comer said to the Washington Post, quote, they develop well by making an emotional attachment to the meaningful adults in their environment. Adults become meaningful by helping children manage their environment, unquote. In other words, parents must learn to reinforce the attitudes and behaviors that good schools value. The Washington Post reported in 1997 that there were CSDP models operating in 650 schools in 28 states, about a third of which Comer considered were very successful, and another third somewhat successful. Despite his zealous pursuit in, of nurturing school environments, he wrote in his 1997 book, Waiting for a Miracle, Why Schools Can't Solve Our Problems and How We Can, that schools cannot be expected to solve society's problems, rather that challenge rests with children, families, and communities. From 1996 to 1997,
Comer supervised the development of the Kid Premier's program sponsored by Black Enterprise Magazine. The two-year program taught children aged thir- three, age three to seventeen, the rudiments of entrepreneurship, emphasizing concepts such as cash flow, business plans, marketing, and customer service. Comer also injected his own deeply felt belief in the importance of parental involvement by including an in- interactive session with parents. The aim of parental involvement was to make the entrepreneurial spirit an integral part of the children's home lives. Comer served as a consultant to the children's television workshop, which produces Sesame Street, an electric company. In in 1989, he was a consultant to the pre-education summit, along with President George Bush and Secretary of Education Laurel F. Cavazos. He has also been a member of the National Commission Commission on Teaching in America's Future since 1994. Comer has also contributed to numerous books and magazines, including Parents, Ebony, and Red Book. In addition, he has served on the editorial boards of the American Journal of Orthopsychiatry, 1970-1976, Youth and Adolescence, 1971-87, in the Journal of Negro Education, 1978 to 1983. The wide recognition accorded to Comer has included 37 honorary degrees. The 1996 Heinz Award for the Human Condition for his work on behalf of disadvantaged children and the 1996 Health Track Foundation Award. Among Comer's other honors are the Charles A. Dana Award for Pioneering Achievement in Education, 1991, the James Bryant Conant Award, given by the Education Commission of the States, 1991, the Harold W. McGraw Jr. Prize in Education, given by McGraw Hill, Inc., 1990, the Special Presidential Commendation of the American Psychiatric Association, 1990, the Rockefeller Public Service Award, 1980, and the John and Mary Markle Foundation Scholar Award in Academic Medicine, a five-year award ending in 1979. Comer married Shirley Ann Arnold in 1959. They have two children, Brian J. and Don Renee. Citations are in the description.